Hello everyone, welcome to the Microgreen Show. I'm going to go over on how this all started. Uh, I always get questions emailed to me on how Nick Green started. And, um, you know, let's get on with that story. So I have a friend named Dave who, who's been working for John Adel. John Adel is the owner of the plant. Uh, this building was actually called Pure Foods. And in 2010, I was asked to come here and check it out. It all started out with me volunteering here at this building. Um, I volunteered here for about three, about a good two year, two and a half years before I was asked uh, to start a microgreen program. I'm originally from this area, no more than about a four mile radius from this area. So I really wanted to find a way to give back to my community. Plant Chicago gave me a grant for $15,000 to start my program. When I started the garden program, I started working with a chef named Phil Foss. Phil Foss was, became my R&D chef, where we tried a bunch of different experiments, right? I was growing microflowers, I was growing borage, sunflower shoots. I, mean, I started growing about a 30 to 40 different varieties, right? So we started to deliver to the restaurants on bike, of course, um, because I started this business as a sustainable business. Um, so we wanted to make sure there was no packaging. We delivered everything in a Tiffin container. Um, and in that Tiffin container, there was four levels. And in each level, there was a different variety. So that allowed me to just really, really dive into microgreens and really figure out what varieties were working and what varieties weren't. So what I really started to figure out is some like soil, some like hydroponics, some wanted cocoa core. So I just kept on experimenting and this is where all my research started. And then in 2014, I was asked to uh, go ahead and downsize the company. The company was becoming a very profitable company and they, I was asked by the non-for-profit to downsize it or go ahead and turn it into an education program. Well, I thought out that I can do more for the community by keeping this as a for-profit business. So I went and took over the for-profit business and that's when Nick Green started. That's when we started calling this Nick Green's LLC. So in 2014, I started to sell more to Michelin star restaurants and started to really, really grow the business. Well, in the middle of 2014, I was asked by Farmed Here to go ahead and help them build a commercial farm where they were working with Whole Foods stores, Mariano's, and a lot of other grocery stores. So we go ahead and built one system at Farmed Here, and that's where it all started for the commercial side of my, of my journey, right? We went and we started working with about 10 stores, 10 uh, Whole Foods stores, and then by a year of me working with uh, Farmed Here, we were dealing with about over 100 and something stores. 42 of those stores were Whole Foods stored markets. After I started to work with Farmed Here, I really started to focus more on the commercial side. So I put, the, I put the business of selling product to chefs down. And then I started to more focus on the commercial side and helping and consulting. In 2017, I was asked by Garfield Produce to build a farm on the west side of Chicago. That farm is specifically designed to help the community of Garfield Park. So they're helping people get a second chance that were incarcerated. And I really like that program and I'm really, really to this day and giving to that program as well. I help them on a daily and try to just give as much knowledge as possible to that company. Then after that, in 2018, I was asked to come and join Crop King, where I started to work as a horticulturist for Crop King, working in their research greenhouses. I was also giving workshops on microgreens. Uh, they were doing three-day workshops and also they were doing week-long workshops. So the question that I get a lot is, what am I doing now? So what I've been focusing on now is I've been focusing on the Nick Green's brand. And with this brand, I am all about making sure that I'm giving educated videos, educated content, and really, really teach people about urban farming, vertical farming, indoor farming. And, I, and I'm really focused on giving back to the community.